Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we are diving into the latest update from the Linux world. The release of Cinnamon 6.6. The desktop environment that sets to power the upcoming Linux Mint 22.3. Codenamed Xena. If you are a fan of user-friendly, customizable desktops that feel familiar yet modern, this one's for you. I'll break down the key highlights in a way that's easy to follow. So, whether you are a long-time Linux user or just curious, stick around. First off, let's talk about what Cinnamon is for those who might be new here. Cinnamon is a popular desktop environment, forked from GNOME. Designed to offer a traditional layout with a start menu, taskbar, and applets for quick access to system functions. It's the flagship desktop environment for Linux Mint, known for its stability and ease of use. Version 6.6 .6 builds on that foundation with a bunch of thoughtful improvements, focusing on usability, visuals, and behind-the-scenes tweaks. The star of the show in this release is the revamped application menu. It's been completely redesigned to make launching apps smoother and more intuitive. Now, you can switch between symbolic icons, which are those clean, monochrome ones, or full-color versions for the categories. This gives you more control over the look and feel. Plus, there is hover support for colored system buttons. And you can customize your places and bookmark sections right from the menu. Visually, it's sleeker with updated spacing, fonts, and animations that make navigating feel fresh without overwhelming you. Moving on to keyboard handling. Cinnamon 6.6 .6 has stepped up its game, especially for folks using multiple languages or layouts. The virtual keyboard now includes a dedicated button to switch layouts on the fly, along with a quick shortcut to accessibility settings via the context menu. Teams apply better across the board. Suggestions are easier to spot. And there is a nice fade effect when the keyboard appears or disappears. If you are on the touchscreen device or just prefer on-screen input, these changes make a real difference in daily use. The Settings app has gotten some love too. There is a new module for managing Thunderbolt devices, which is great for users with external hardware like docks or storage. In the Windows section, you will find a dedicated tab for tiling options to snap windows more efficiently. Power management now lets you set suspend actions for critical low battery scenarios. And the nightlight feature supports manual scheduling plus an always mode to keep that eye-friendly warm tint on constantly if you want. Oh, and it ties into the new system information tool for a quick overview for your hardware and software setup. Applets, those handy widgets on your panel, have seen updates across the board. The sound applet fixes a pesky bug where album art wouldn't show up after volume changes and ensures muting restores your previous level properly. Network Manager now displays multiple active VPN connections at once, which is super useful for power users juggling secure networks. The workspace feature can show window icons for better multitasking. The printer applet only pops up when you are actually printing to reduce clutter. And the window list now supports notification batches to alert you to unread messages or updates. Beyond that, there are plenty of quality of life enhancements. You can now add shortcuts to jump straight to specific keyboard layouts. Reset zoom with a hotkey or configure notifications to show the newest ones first. Hot corners work even in full screen mode. Mounts in the file manager are more reliable and volume changes via gestures trigger an on-screen display. For multi-monitor setups, Alt plus Tab can be set to show only windows from your current screen and the Expo overview activates on the monitor where your mouse is. Under the hood, Things like Python keybinding management have been cleaned up. And there is better support for building Cinnamon without certain dependencies. Plus, 
a switch to symbolic icons from the X app project. All these features can make Cinnamon 6.6 .6 feel more polished and responsive. Addressing common pain points while keeping the classic desktop vibe intact. It's slated to be the default in Linux Mint 22.3 Senna. We should drop around late December 2025 or early 2026 with a beta expected soon. If you're on other distros like Arch Linux, you might already find it in your repos. If this has you excited to try it out, head over to the Linux Mint website or your distro package manager to get started. What do you think of these changes? Drop a comment below. Are you sticking with Cinnamon or do you prefer another desktop environment? If you enjoyed this breakdown, hit that like button, subscribe for more Linux news and tutorials. And I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Thank <laughs> you.